yes jamaica back with another video and um wow so much is going on oh wait a minute my camera let me adjust this camera yeah so wait a second that seems to be all right yeah man that can work so as me say quite a few things are going on in jamaica right now now i was in the middle of doing a video uh you know regarding the uh the salary stuff that I was doing, comparing Jamaica GDP to other countries GDP and comparing uh, Jamaica's prime minister's salary to other leaders. The last thing I wanted to do was to finalize, uh, which is what I was in the middle of doing actually, finalizing a video to upload about comparing the prime minister's salary to, you know, a lot of sort of the Caribbean islands that I've mentioned in my full video, because I had a video posted up about a couple of days ago, I think. Um, you know, about, uh, you know, that video was an hour long. Going into a lot of details about the different types of uh, countries and leaders and GDP and per capita and all that type of stuff on the salaries and the ratios and stuff. Now, I understand that not everybody's going to watch that video because it's our video. Um, but at the same time, I thought just to be considerate, I'll do shorter versions of that for people who just want the bite-sized information. So I've already uploaded one video in that regard in terms of comparing uh, Jamaica to Singapore because I think like for like that's a fair comparison and then the next comparison I was in the middle of doing is the one with just the Caribbean islands uh, only with Jamaica. So that's the videos in the middle of when all of a sudden it came across my peripheral if you like that um, you know <laughs> that um, you know what's his name again Delroy Chuck uh, Minister of Justice is exclamating that um, he's fed up of people coming up to him and uh, asking, him if he, asking him if he's one of the illicit six. Are you one of the illicit six? <laughs> anyway, who knows? Um, so he wants the Integrity Commission to basically, um, you know, Niam the illicit six. Name them out. I mean, like, read. Ooh. So you're not guilty then. You're not one of them. Well, that's how it appears on the surface. Me can't swear for nobody. Because as I say, I don't know none of these politicians. I've never spoken to them. I've never, you know, I don't have any relationships with them. So when you see me do videos on these politicians and am I from time to time speaking to celebrities, me not know no celebrity and me not know no politician and me not have no relationship with them for maintain. So, I don't have to rely upon a, upon a politician or no celebrity to come on my platform to talk to me. So, therefore, I don't compromise in that way. So, I can I have a free hand to say what I want to say, but who I want to say it. As long as I'm being fair, I'll always be fair. I'm not going to be biased. But I'll be fair and I'll be respectful. But at the same time, me do go hold back and say, boy, that I'm a bridge in and that I'm a know him and me and him have a relationship and me want him to can interview him from time to time on my platform or this one I can ring in and no, me not have none of that brother so me not have no relationship for, 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 for keep intact so me are the one who not fear the most I'm going to really look for a relationship from one another because then that will compromise me you understand? because now being a human being I'm going to feel like you know what I mean? I'm going to have to kind of hold back a little bit and we can roast them to the flames. You know, blaze up the fire. Anyway, I've gone on enough. So, Delroy Chuck getting fed up of the questionings about, you know, whether he's one of the illicit six. And so, he <laughs> might tell the Integrity Commission, if he name them out. But aren't they, these are the same people who are trying to hide and delay who the illicit six are. Because as far as I understand it, uh, the Integrity Commission sent over the information to be tabled uh, in Parliament and basically um, the Jamaica Labour Party has oversight. So because they have oversight on this type of discussion and even on the illicit six, so even when it's passed over to them to be tabled, they have lack an oversight as to who, uh, you know, how they're going to handle information that was passed over to them. I have a problem with that. I mean, I understand they have the majority vote, you know, democracy and whatever, whatever. But I think the oversight should be independent. You see, the same way how the integrity is independent, and we're going to put in speech marks that they're independent, is the same way, I would say, 
the oversight commission the name can't come to mind right now but they basically have oversight of you know what's going on in terms of what they table and how the discussion is done and how they handle the information is basically controlled predominantly by the JLP party because they have the majority in the house so because of that um if the illicit six from what i understand um maybe a couple of them might be pnp now i can see with all the corruption and nepotism that's been going on so far I, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going to happen you know it could be a situation where delroy chuck is putting up a smoke screen they're saying name the illicit six and then when they name the illicit six you see this is what them play a chess and i've been telling you in previous video about the chess games name the illicit six which is going to be twofold one it takes the heat off of him and two they can basically beat and switch so in other words they can shift the narrative from them and shift it onto the opposition party so let's say out of the six four of them is pnp and two of them is um you know uh, sorry four of them is jlp and two of them is uh pnp because the jlp dominates in the house and they have the majority in the house and they control and have oversight in that regard why would they hang out their own parliamentarians to dry when there's two opposition that they can offer up a sacrifice instead so i think that's the move they're going for i think that's the play i could be completely wrong but you know I, I, this video is a speculative video it's just me gonna be doing some speculating i am entitled to speculate and i am entitled to my opinions okay so without being too biased i have to look at both sides of the coin i did say maybe delroy chuck is innocent um it seems on the surface that he is because if i was in that position i would have responded the same way if i'm fed up of people coming up to me and you know quizzing me about something that's got nothing to do with me that's tarnishing my reputation and dragging my name in the mud yeah i'll be i'll be angry i'll be pissed to be quite honest so that response from Delroy Chuck, I can understand. But at the same time, what do I always say? Me not trust no politician and me not trust no parliamentarian or any political party. I me not support none of them. As Shabaram said, none of them, none of them. Big ship. All right. Um, so because of that, um, I'm thinking with the other side of me, the other side of my brain is thinking, come my right side of my brain is saying, yeah, man, you know, me can, me can dig it, you know, Emma. Him, him want to clear him name and want to be associated with all these scandals that's flying around and for innocent person that's a that's a legitimate uh sort of expectable uh you know response but on the other hand i'm thinking my left side of my brain i say the analytical side of my brain i say well um maybe at the same time you know maybe it's a chess move and as i said to you the chess move could be if them know who the illicit six is, no, sorry, let me scratch that. Not if they know who the illicit six is, because the integrity commission has forwarded over the documents to them, and I'm, I'm sure that all of them see. And if everybody in the parliament don't see, me sure say Juliet Holness see it because she's the speaker of the house, so she would have seen it, and she'd have run to Obi and say, Andrew, Andrew, look at this. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Oh, how them near me? Oh, 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 how them people? Oh, how the integrity commission get them people on them? Oh my, this not look good for me. So I'm just joking. <laughs> just a bit of banter, a bit of banter won't hurt my, you know, mind. Anyway, so because of that, I think to myself now, maybe you know, it's a situation where them look on it and see the little six, and them are protect it because I think the initial play was. If them expose two and don't expose the other four or whatever they, that's on the jail, the PNP side, but I'm only in, because me, I'm not going to sit there and assume that the illicit six is all JLP members. Um, I'm of the possibility that some of them might be uh, PNP uh, members as well, you know, politicians as well. So because me, not, me, not, me, just, me don't write down the middle. As far as me concerned, I could actually PNP and three uh, JLP. Uh, four PNP and two and two JLP. Who knows? You know something? Or even five PNP and one JLP. We don't know. You see, politics cloud people mind, and everybody is up there thinking that. Well, because them the one table it, but that make logical sense because it would have give it would have given uh, the JLP um, 
you know, political ammunition to sink the PNP if the majority of the people that was on the illicit six were PNP uh, members. So yes, logically, I would say that quite a few of them out of the six belong to the JLP party. We don't know who they are. They're being kept secret for now. So I was of the thought that, you know what, if them expose, let's say four of them is JLP and two of them is PNP, if them just expose the two PNP alone, then that would look suspicious. That would like, oh, so we're not a partisan politics. Okay, so that can't work. So they know that's not going to work. So and instead, they're thinking, well, we're going to protect our man or our men, but in men or women, but in, in doing that, you know, inadvertently or not, if you want to look at it that way, the PNP, um, if there's any, also get protected from being, you know, shadowed and not their, their names are not being revealed. But because Delroy Chuck is fed up of people coming up to him and questioning him, and the must keep put the flames on these politicians, question them to when you don't see Andrew question him. When you see any one of the politicians, them question him, and PNP too. If you see any PNP who you feel, boy, that one you move shady, you know, that one you kind of, he might move kind of sinister, you know what I mean? Well, question him too. Are you one of the illicit six? You know what I mean? Don't sit there and just assume, even though we are speculating, that they are all of one party and none no come from the other. At this point, as them say, expect the unexpected. And that's how my brain works. I always expect the unexpected. So, with that said, I'm thinking them are protect everybody because if you protect, if you, if you expose someone, protect the others, that gonna, that's going to be too obviously biased. So, them just say, you know, we're going to just protect everybody and that's it. But because Delroy Chuck um, is being nagged a lot about questioning him about it, he's thinking, you know what, if that's the case, um, just name them out and done. Um, whether his name is on it himself, me don't know, because some people come across with it, you know, so. <laughs> and like, well, if me are good up, me are drawing everybody with me, you know, but I am fed up. You know, some people, them just say, Chow, them just do the kamikaze thing. So I mean, if it's a kamikaze move, him, I do, or him genuinely innocent and him just fed up of people are come to him and ask him, either way, for another move from a chess point of view, that's a clever move. Because as I say, um, it could be a situation where I'm saying, you know what? We might can make this work for us, you know. We can make it work for us. I'll tell you what we do. You um we insist that you name the illicit six. And when you name them all, we have oversight. Is it the oversight committee, whatever it is? They have oversight over these type of matters. So you have a clear control from when the integrity for you see, once the integrity commission put stuff to the parliament. It's out of the Integrity Commission hands, as far as I understand it. And now the government who have majority in the House, in a parliament, and have majority in terms of that make up the oversight committee or whatever it is, um, them can control the flow of information and control how things are dealt with. So that almost seems like democracy, even though democracy put them in the majority, democracy backfire and now them have dictatorship, them can do what they want without the opposition having a say or a word into it. So maybe the, pl the, the, the plan is, name the illicit six, it will come over to us, we control the oversight of what should be done with the information that is handed over to us. And then we will use this to our um, you know, benefit and expose the, any PNP member that's named that's part of the illicit six and kind of downplay the ones that's from our party because we already hear him say things like anybody who not i'm going to paraphrase i'm not going to quote i'm going to paraphrase that uh delroy chuck said something along the lines of anybody who's uh not sort of you know um declaring their their assets and submitting their documents of declarations etc on time or or as um you know unable to do so for whatever reason which is unacceptable um you know, they should be, you know, punished in some way, uh, which in my, which I agree with as well. I agree with that. But at the same time, that kind of indicate to me where the intention of this thing is going to go. If them decide, say, let's just play the game and um, name out the illicit six. And then because we have control, we can manipulate this in our favor and make the PNP look bad. Because as I say, if there's two members of the PNP, that's, party the illicit six and the other four are JLP, 
what do you think gonna happen what do you think is gonna happen that's my point so i don't know we just have to wait and see how this is gonna pan out um <laughs> so i don't know if um delroy chaka player kamikaze or not because don't remember you know uh, don't remember you mean don't forget sorry remember there is a pnp uh politician i think his name is um let me look it up on my screen uh Dwayne vaz remember him i uh, saw videos of him uh i think it was portland parish i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong he was coming out about the water situations and uh, some some people have 10 15 20 tanks and he you know and other other residents don't have any and subsequent people come out and say well you know my body the tank name legitimate yes me invoice are written up in a handwriting which is hardly legible but hey an invoice is an invoice is an invoice what can i say you know you know see no signature i mean i've seen no company logo that's leg you know legible for me to read i'm not saying it's fake i'm just saying it was held up to the screen but it wasn't legible for me to see so me just have to take the guy's word for it but at the same time I'm going to put the guy who have those holy for tanks aside and people who bought tanks. Um, I'm not going to blame them for anything. I still blame the government because the, the situation is you should never be allowed to buy so many tanks in a crisis of water. That's like if there's shortage of bread. You remember we drew in the, the big sea? We don't know about Jamaica, but over here in Britain, during the big sea, people start up well them never really yeah them they kind of monitor what and what how much or whatever you can buy because toilet rolls and water and stuff like that was going like hot cake so eventually obviously they had to regulate it and say listen one pack of toilet paper which i think either 12 or 24 comes in it so you can buy a pack of 24 or a pack of 36 or whatever you buy but you can only buy one pack one one pack of whatever per family and maybe two cases of water maybe each water will about six a night so maybe two cases of water per family you understand me one person can stack up a whole trolley full of water and another trolley full of whatever and others don't get so it makes sense to regulate something during a shortage so that it is fairly distributed amongst other people who need it and that was a failure of the government on my part because what they've done in my opinion rather because what they've done is they've failed to regulate the, the distribution of these tanks. They should have never, during a water crisis, I mean, in normal circumstances, sell them a million tanks, sell them 10,000 tanks, whatever you want, sell them it don't matter. Fine, them have the money and them want to buy it, buy it. But during a crisis of shortage, you have to limit the amount because people with money are going to buy up everything and the people them who most strapped for cash are going left with nothing. So it was a complete failure, negligence, gross negligence on the government part to allow these businesses and other individuals to buy up so much tanks and pile them up in their backyard while other people didn't have any. And they know them probably I forgot to one of these people and say, yo, send me one of your tank them now. Even if they wanted the tank for their own reason. I mean, okay, when a car wash and you buy a 10, 15 tank for your car wash and people want drinking water, they need to cook them food. Then baby need to get bath and washed. People need for shower. People need for you understand what I mean? And you have you have tanks. A matter of fact, during crisis of water, people shouldn't even have wash them car. The dirt now gonna do nothing to your car. The dirt can not stay on your car for no better. I saw a vein and full of vanity that you put some material thing like car and dust and dirt pan car over human life because water is life. So to me. Even though them come out, that does seem like a little weak ploy to me. Because at the end of the day, I may never speak on it back then, but see the opportunity I know, so I talk on it. So my guy, legitimately and rightfully, Dwayne Vaz, him light the fire and him blaze up the fire. And I think because he'd done that, and he came out so strong, and I think some of his videos went viral, it's like them take note and say, right, okay, we watch, watch me and him. What, 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 I have something for fix fixed business. And so when the integrity situation came up, that was like, here's our opportunity. And me now say, them should now shouldn't do it in a because they're politicians, they're at war in terms of political, uh, you know, they're fighting for people's hearts and minds. The battle is always for this and for this. That's where the battle is, is for your heart and for your mind. 
And once them can program your brain and get you susceptible to, 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 to go along with their programming, then you're a zombie. You will do anything them say. Oh, when I'm treat you like crap. Oh, when I'm treat you like, you know, whatever. Then you're still going to fall in line and do what they want like a slave. So that's just how it is, in my opinion. So he came out. He said what he had to say. He came out strong. And in my opinion, um, they're waiting for their chance to get back at him. And this is it. Um, now, whether legitimately he's, you know, mixed up in some shenanigans in terms of declaration of his assets and filing his accounts on time because you know it did but you know every april you have to file your accounts before the the first of april or the end of april or whatever it is so it's a yearly thing that any businesses or any person who is self-employed has to do but in jamaica we know so everybody who's self-employed now do that all those who have registered business do it and even them not do it properly because my hear stories so many of are registered business um, you know, them file them tax returns and then when time for come for collect tax, no money they have to, <laughs> to collect tax. That's how broken the system is. And you can't go to them and say, well, we're going to fine you and we're going to prosecute you for pay, because you fail for pay tax or fail for pay it on time, which is the way it is in most countries. I would assume it's the same in Jamaica. But then if they don't have the money, what you're going to do? You're just going to exacerbate the situation and you're not going to get your money anyway. So, we ever leave him, okay, him just declare himself bankrupt and out of business and the government get nothing. Because once you declare yourself bankrupt, you know, the government and the taxman have to walk away from you. And whatever money you have, you know, you, whatever stash off, whatever you have it stash off, as long as any in your name, um, the government not get nothing because you're bankrupt. On paper anyway. But that's a that's a that's a strategy some businesses use. You know what I mean? So a lot of people smear up them nose at it and sneer up them nose and turn them nose up at being bankruptcy but any per, most of them billionaire and millionaire will tell you there's ways and clever ways of doing it that it work in them favor and a lot of these billionaires and millionaires will tell you so several times throughout their their business uh, endeavors they file for bankruptcy but them still I get loan them still I get investment them still I get for source money so <laughs> what does that tell you so them know something where we don't know obviously so yeah going back to this because I'm gonna wrap up um I just think, uh, you know, this whole thing is could be a smoke screen, and if it is, it's it's <laughs> it's an elaborate smoke screen. We just have to sit down and see how this play out. Because if it's a situation where Delroy Chuck is trying to use this in a way to tarnish or to expose, I mean, I'll blame the JLP for doing it. Let's be fair. They're politicians. They're the is JLP versus PNP or PNP versus JLP. So of course each side of God do with them off do to stick it to the next side. That's 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 politics. Me expect that. Me not go say, oh well you shouldn't do that and him shouldn't do this. I only look at in terms of their politician and they vi they're vying for our for our you know for our support and our vote and our this and that. So I understand all of that, but at the end of the day, the only time I come down on them is if I see clear corruption and clear negligence and clear gross misconduct in terms of how them run the country or them treat people and a lot of other things. So that's my that's my take on this. I'm just have to wait and see whether this is a ploy um, that is cooking up by the JLP to expose the, G the PNP illicit six if they exist, but then kind of downplay their own and, and i use the word don't play because i don't think they're not going to expose them either they'll expose them but they're going to try and don't play it and say well him thief 10 million and and from film side and from our side we only thief like hundred dollar so you receive okay we thief couple thousand dollar yeah but look on what them do them thief up how much million and billion i think that's going to be the way they're going to go about it so then people are going to say, okay, so we know the illicit six. So the JLP, them know, we know who them is. But you know what? Them never thief that much money. But look, when the PNP, them raw, how so much money them thief, brother? Then the, the, the focus is going to be on to the, you understand me? I say, oh, man. So I don't know, me just speculate and my brain is a dangerous thing, you know. So um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to just wait and see how this play out. But I kind of have a perception of what me think of a play out. And um, I will come back with the I told you so if I'm right. All right?